Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Natch de Gal. Now, thank you very much for your response, your likes. Another 20 likes, almost instantly. It was great. Go to bed after putting this up, and in the morning, there's enough for another episode, which is absolutely marvellous. Well, same thing applies to this episode. I think we're probably going to get at least one more episode out of this. So 20 likes of this episode will get me recording it. It's as simple as that. So let's move on, shall we? Tomorrow is the last night in the castle. The rest of the Natch girls will probably be here when I wake up on the 22nd. If I wake up on the 22nd, they might just decide to kill me in my sleep. Gosh, it's not like me to be so negative. Being surrounded by all these dark things and vampires and blood and stuff is really getting me down. Heh, <laughs> I guess it'd get anybody down. I could... I'll go find something to eat. Food is always a good pick-me-up. It's Luca. He's staring at the moon like Adrian was. Well, I guess we're all thinking about the same thing, huh? He's gone. Oh, right. I came here for something to eat. Well, that was a quick meal. Ah, that was delicious. Nothing like bacon for a midnight snack. In the end, I really didn't learn much about Adrian or Luca. I feel like I know them about as well as when I first came. Tomorrow night, they might feed on me again. The night after that, the rest of the Natch gals will be back, and I'm probably going to get killed in order to keep their secret. Do you know, I actually think she's liking it here. Let's, let's stay. Even if I don't like the situation I'm in, I don't know what could happen to me if I try to escape, so no, I'll stay here. Besides, they might decide not to kill me. There's no point of being too hasty or paranoid. I'll just try to get some sleep. Last day. You have got a choice to make and not much time to do it, Miranda. Gosh, this sounds familiar. Hurry and choose, or else we shall decide for you, which might be significantly less pleasant. And so here I am. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, but I couldn't escape. I decided to stay here and see what happens, and now they're offering me a choice. So, I want to die, I want to live, I want to live. No matter what, I want to live. I should have expected as much. How typical of a human. Still, your tenacity is admirable. No matter what, you said. Yes, no matter what. I don't want to die. This is the decision I came to. My siblings are not always as generous as I am. They will not know you as Luca and I have come to know you. Even so, you want to live, no matter what the cost? Yes! Very well. I will do my best to persuade them to show leniency. Thank you. You will probably come to regret those words. No, there's no way I regret it. Who on earth would want to die? I'm sure I've made the right decision. Surely. How? How long has it been? I'm so hungry. Can't I... Can't I be given permission to eat now? Won't somebody, anybody come and... I hear footsteps. Maybe it's Master Luca or Lord Adrian. Good evening, Miranda. Lord Jupiter. Good, good, good evening, Lord Jupiter. I'm so, I'm so happy to see you. Come on out, Adrian. Lord Adrian is here as well. Yes, you should be thankful for it. Though I am, though I know I don't deserve it, I'm so incredibly happy with all my heart. This is the first time you've seen her since our return, isn't it? Yes, Luca suggested I stay away from the dungeons while you were working. That was prudent of him. The training process can be a bit... messy. <laughs> You were always joking around about keeping a human as a pet, weren't you? 
I was, I remember. That is why your older brother here decided to train one for you. It was no easy task, I must say. She had quite a lot of spirits in her. Did she? Still, there isn't an animal alive I can't break, given enough time. You'll find she's quite obedient now. If you want to keep her around for some time, we could get Luca or one of the other third generation vampires to turn her. Then she'll be bound to you forever. Forever. I see. I shall consider it. Thank you, brother. It is nothing. You know there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. Well, I'm sure you'll want to spend some time with your new pet. I'll leave the two of you alone. Blah. Miranda. Yes, Lord Adrian. Did I not tell you before to drop the Lord? I couldn't do possibly do that, Lord Adrian. I was told most emphatically by Lord Jupiter that you are deserving of the utmost respect. Blair. Miranda. Yes, Lord Adrian. Is this leaving to you? This is what you wanted to have, no matter what? Yes. Really? Yes. Then why? Why are you crying? I'm just so happy, so happy to be alive. I see. Thank you for keeping me alive, no matter what. I see. I, I'm alive. Well, that's... Okay, that was, well, that was an ending. Let's rewind. Okay, let's try the other decision. I want to die. I want to die. This is not a decision one makes lightly. It is not. I've thought it over for a long while, but in this situation with these choices, that's all I can choose. It might be cowardly, but... Why? Why do you want to die? Well, I think it's better than being a living blood bank for the rest of my... Well... They weren't supposed to be home until tomorrow night. I'll go and... Adrian, Luca, so the two of you are in here. A beautiful woman, that was the wrong voice. Must be one of Adrian's sisters. Blanche. Mm. Oh, what the hell. Why the long face? I thought you'd be glad to see us home a day early. We brought back presents for you. You know I am always happy to see you, Blanche. It's just that we are in the middle of... Well, her. I thought I smelled something odd. So you have a Cuban girl here. Lord. Lord Ingemar. A midnight stack, Adrian? Luca? I thought Adrian didn't like women this dark-skinned. Were there no better selections in town? She's not. Well, to put it bluntly, she's an intruder. What? Such finery? Don't tell me she was a fine spy. No, it appears she stumbled in here by mistake while she was lost in the forest. However, she happened upon Lord Adrian feeding, and so... Our existence and location have been compromised? Why did you not simply kill her on the spot? Blanche, Adrian isn't, isn't to kill anyone. It might trigger... Trigger? Oh, that's right. I'd almost forgotten. How insensitive of me. So you've kept her alive all this time, waiting for our return, have you? Yes, she was told to await further judgment. We should kill two birds with one stone, then. We have a human who needs to be silenced, and we have a family of vampires who are hungry after our long trip. It's almost too perfect. Wait. I'll round up the others. They're probably still unpacking. But can that wait until after? Luca, be a dear and bring the girls to the dining room, will you? Yes, Lady Blanche. Wait, this isn't what I... This one's got quite a mouth on her. Human, do stop talking. Your voice is too shrill for ears as sensitive as ours. I can't. 
Why is he so strong? Lord Ingemar is the eldest son. There is no use in resisting. Quite right. Second and third generation vampires slowly gain power over time. I've been on this earth long enough to deal with the likes of you, little miss. And smile, would you? You're going to ruin our feast with this face. There we go. Shall we head for the dining room? This is not how I wanted to die. Her blood was rather ordinary, wasn't it? I'd expected more since she looked so exotic. What a shame. Well, she was just a regular human after all. Did you have to feed from her while she was being held captive here? I'm so sorry, Adrian. We'll be sure to get you something to cleanse your palate later. Thank you. I'll just clean up here. There's no need for you to dirty your hands. Oh, are you quite sure, Luca? I could send help. It's quite all right. I'm sure you're all very tired. In your next life, I hope you don't run into a vampire again. I hope you don't you won't feel like you want to die again. Oh man, there is not a good ending here, is there? Farewell, Miranda. Mm. Okay, let's try another one. Uh Okay, right. We've done the even so I'll stay there endings. Let's go into the I don't want that endings. I don't want that. I've gotten a lot better at being quiet. Lucre doesn't always find me in the hallways anymore, and I definitely know my way around the castle now. I don't want to die here like an animal. I don't know if I can escape safely, but it's better than staying here. At least I'll die fighting. Wait, I hear footsteps. Good evening. As I'm sure you know well, tomorrow is the 22nd. My siblings will all be home from their trip, and they will want to know why you're here. Basically, they will be punishing you. The Natchi girls do not take kindly to intruders. However, we have gotten to know you somewhat over the last fortnight. We are not so cold that we would wish you dead over a mistake. So, before telling my siblings about all that has happened, we would like to ask you what to do. I have a choice, you have a choice to make, and not much time to make it, Miranda. Hurry and choose, or else we shall decide for you, which might be significantly less pleasant. I know it's unreasonable of me to say this, but I don't want to die. I want to live. Of course, there is nothing unreasonable about not wishing to die. Well, we cannot make any guarantees, you understand, but I shall try to negotiate with my siblings on your behalf. Thank you. You should be grateful for Lord Adrian's generosity. I am. Rest well then, for tomorrow night you will learn of your fate. They're gone. I'm going to wait until it's nearly morning and then escape. Mm. It's time. I, I quietly gather my things and put them into a bag. It's a shame I'll have to run for it in this dress, but, well, the material is pretty light. At least it won't make too much noise. No sign of Luca or Adrian. I, I made it to the door. I'm going. Just now, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Was it just my imagination? Gee, I'm so scared of being caught, I'm getting paranoid. I'm leaving, and I'm never coming back. Whoa! Okay, right. Well, there's a number of the endings already. Uh, extras... Endings... 
Okay, we've had the escape end, we've had the pet end, we've had the feast end. There's three more endings left. And it's going to take me a bit of backtracking and research to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this episode a touch short. And I'm going to promise you one more episode if you give me 20 likes. Which I will do these last three endings. And we'll round everything off. Yeah, we got missing some of the CGs as well, so hopefully you are, we'll get a chance to see that as well. So there you go. Okay, um, sorry it's a slightly short episode, but uh, that's the way it works out sometimes, occasionally. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Right. Okay. Yes. So give us the twenty likes, and we'll do the final episode. The final episode, we might finally get a happier result because we certainly didn't do that great this time. Well, except for the escape one. I think that wasn't too bad. They liked her enough to let her go. So, don't forget to like this if you liked it. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Natch to Gal. Thank you, and good night.